Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chad here from Nice Cutting Edge Lawn Maintenance. Just getting started on one of my first properties a day for a current customer that I already have established. So this will kind of be like one of my first in series of introductory videos. So this property here, since it's been raining in the Midwest for God, the last two weeks and off and on for last month, uh, here's the one we're going to be tackling. As you can see, I've had to skip it a couple of weeks because of the overgrowth of the property. And then I'll give you guys a quick look at the backyard and just, we'll just get some straight mowing footage on here. Uh, give you guys, you know, a little bit of inside of me and you know what equipment I run, which I'll be doing a long care video setup here shortly, but. You know, here's the backyard. You know, as you can see, some of my strike from before. So it's not too bad. You know, he had said it's going to be failed. You know, but it don't look too bad to me. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, get my stuff unloaded here. Um, give you like a little bit of uh, footage of, you know, my mowers I got. And kind of you know what I'm running today uh, a lot of this stuff I this like I said my second year in business you know and working a full-time job and love what I do so what I got running here is you, know, you guys excuse me my mowers are pretty dirty I need to definitely get them washed up but you got the Ferris Z1 48 inch with uh, 22 horse Kawasaki. And we've got the big league long strap kit on there. You know, that thing really, you know, puts in a defined stripe if that's what you're looking for. And then my, I run everything Echo, so for my edger straight shaft, we got the Echo PE 266S. trimmer from last year I got the SRM 2620T that thing's been a beast that's my go-to every day maintaining my properties and then we've also got the bad boy the 3020T when I've got to knock down some really tall stuff and then we've also got the TB 770T that thing does really good. I also got the 8010 backpack blower at home, the tube mount, but it's overkill for everyday lawns. And then we also got, I just purchased this this year, was my Toro Z Master 6000. Uh, I've had this thing for about a month now. And a lot of people says like it's overkill for a solo guy that has you know 20 put 20 plus lawns but you know hey everything's paid for and this is what i wanted so definitely went with the uh, 6000 series and it's got the kawasaki 31 horse on there and i went with just the regular suspension and not the my ride um yeah, I heard, you know, I was wanting to get the My Ride, but, you know, talked to Dane Lanier that has the 3000 with the My Ride, and he said if he could do it all over again, he would go with um, the three, the non My Ride just because he gets the bouncing too much on properties. And then to top it off with, you know, we got the Toro 30 inch Time Master. That thing, you know, will lay some nice stripes. And then we're just running the sure can. Then all my new blades sharpened. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this stuff unloaded and get some footage. Keep pushing. 
emotion even though it hurts I'm chasing what I know is true There's nothing that I would not do When everyone around me drops I'm never gonna ever stop I won't waste another minute, no I won't I'm a man on a mission got this one wrapped up as far as the mowing goes um, so I got trim and blow which I won't record all that but yeah I think uh, turned out pretty good definitely you know, have to double cut this property so we got the stripes going on from this angle here with the Ferris Z148 with the big lead long stripey kit and This angle is not as good, but it you know, all turned out really good here. So, yeah, so, you know, thanks for watching. You know, hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that smash button. Till the next one.